What's up, guys? This is Logan Duck and John Dismer of Highland Incorporated, here with your favorite science segment, Do You Even Science? When you think of science, the first thing you think of, aside from pretty colors and Carl Sagan, is explosions. To explain exactly what occupies Michael Bay's every waking thought, we need to understand energy. Energy is defined in physics as the ability to perform work, which sounds way less impressive than the mental image of lightning bolts and shit you probably got when I first said energy. The law of conservation of energy is probably something you've heard 20 billion times by now, but we'll say it again for posterity. You can't create or destroy energy. However, you can change one type of energy into another type of energy. We like to imagine that some double major in physics and law saw that loophole in the laws of reality and immediately shit themselves. An explosion is what happens when a large amount of energy is converted to heat in a confined space over a very short period of time. This rapid release creates a wave of pressurized gas that pushes outwards, creating the shockwaves that explosions are famous for. You see, atoms are held together by various types of bonds to form molecules. When molecules receive enough energy, the bonds snap, and the atoms are sent flying away from each other. Violently. It doesn't take a special type of gas to throw you on your... well, you know. The pressure wave that the energy release creates can be plain, boring old air. The important thing about explosions is that the release of energy is nigh instantaneous. For example, everything from the human body to a gas engine converts chemical energy into some more usable form. However, these things release the energy far too slowly for an explosion to occur. Be grateful for this. This rapid energy release can be seen in power. Power is defined as energy over time and measures, well, energy over time. Chocolate chip cookies, for example, have 21,000 joules per gram of energy, while TNT has only a measly 2,700 joules per gram. However, TNT releases its energy all at once, while the bonds forming the sugar in the cookies are broken down slowly by our body's digestive systems. Thus, TNT has lower energy, but more power. The high energy of chocolate chip cookies makes for some fun theoretical math, not a phrase I would normally consider uttering. Ever. The amount of energy required to vaporize the Earth is roughly 225 nonillion joules. This means that, if one had a way to release all of their chemical energy at once, one could destroy the Earth with approximately 10 octillion chocolate chip cookies. We at Highland Incorporated call this theoretical phenomenon the cookie death of the planet. Well, that's all for this segment. Until next time, continue to ask yourself the important questions. Namely, do you even science?